2020, shocking year. And it makes you wonder why we've launched a 100 watt amp, but we live in hope. This is the Super Crush 100. The combo version we fitted with the Celestium. So it's just this head and the 1x12 combo version that's going to be available. This is for any kind of player really, from your jazzers through, through to your bluesers, through to your rockers, through to your boozers. Uh, you know, you, you can dial this in for pretty much any playing style. It's not a genre specific amp in any way. This is more than just an update of the Crush Pro. Uh, you've got the buffered effects loop on the back. You've also got the cab sim with a balanced out on the back. The reason for the Super Crush 100 was the Crush Pro was op amp based gain structures here, lead channel and clean channel. And I wanted it to be more valve like. So I went single ended J FET on the clean and the dirty. And that makes both the clean and dirty, not only lower noise levels, but a lot more believable distortion wise, you know. Uh, it's possibly got a bit more clean headroom on both channels than the, than the Crush Pro 100. So obviously the rock of herb is you know, is the king of the jungle, is the king of our jungle. Whereas this is for people that just haven't got the budget for an amp like that, or the arms to lift it. The main difference between this and the Rock of Herb is price and uh, the fact that the Rock of Herb is all tube, like both channels are tube, the effects loop's tube, the reverb's tube driven, spring, analog. This has a digital reverb. Uh, and this channel is kind of a similar game structure to the Rock of Herb, but done with single-ended JFETs. Probably has a little more headroom. Probably a bit cleaner than the Rock of Herb. Uh, but it will get there when you push it. It probably stays cleaner later. Uh, the clean channel on this is a lot more pedal friendly as well. Uh, the volume is after the bass and treble in the circuit with no bright cap, so it's flat all the way up. And if you're going to use it clean, you'd probably add some treble. Or if you're going to use it with pedals, just adjust to taste. This is quite a lot like an old vintage Fender kind of gain structure. Uh, it's really pedal friendly. Uh, you've got front panel channel switch, it's foot switchable as well. The lead channel stays clean pretty much up to about three or four. And then it starts getting into vintage crunch, comes round into heavier saturation as you turn it up. And the saturation is a lot more tube-like. And then you've got your three band EQ, which is the tone stack straight off the tube amp, but done with single ended JFETs. Uh, digital reverb, that's the only part of the amp that's digital and then a master output level control. On the back, if we look at the rear peripherals here, we've got a cab sim balanced out. That can go into any DAW or PA or whatever. You've got a switch which, when it's pushed in, is closed back, and when it's out, it's open back. So that's the way the cabinet design affects the tone. On the other crushes, it's just like the headphone doubles up as a cab sim. Because what, and the cab sim's actually all analog on this as well. It's not using any IRs. You've got the buffered effects loop. You've got a foot switch, any latching foot switch for the channel and the reverb, and then your speaker outputs. Minimum the BA home load on this. The output stage is that of the pedal baby. 
100. So it's lighter in weight than the old, slightly lighter than the previous version and uh, it looks way more tarty. Yeah, see, historically, uh, a tube is a triode, like a preamp tube is, is a triode, an output tube is normally a pentode or a tetrode. Now that's the amount of elements it's got in it, you know. Uh, so the preamp, uh, it's single-ended circuitry, it's class A circuitry, basically. You know, a preamp in a, in a tube amp would be a class A gain structure. So obviously an op amp is an operational amplifier, so it's a differential operational amplifier. A JFET is again a single device that if you try and make a tube amp gain structure with JFETs, that will be class A as well. And it'll be, you know, it'll be a lot much simpler uh, in some ways, but much harder to design because you actually with an op amp, you can drop it in, tell it what to do, and it does it. Whereas a JFET, you've got to design around it, just as you do a tube amp. So it's a lot harder to do. Uh, but the, the results are lower noise floor and a more believable tone. Mm -hmm. 